This is a heavy question. I don't know if questions get much more heavy than this. Why was it necessary for Christ the Redeemer to die? Christ lived a perfect life, the life you and I should have lived. He lived a life of love, of service. He lived an amazing life of trust in His Heavenly Father. So the question is a pressing one. Why should one like that die? And that should, meaning why should he die? Why was it morally necessary for him to die? Well, he didn't have to die on his own. If we were just thinking about Jesus, there would be no necessity for the cross. No, he died because he would be the Redeemer, because he would. It was his will, his heavenly Father's will, and also his will to redeem us. It was his will to lay down his life, to sacrifice himself by his death on the cross in order to rescue us from the penalty that we deserved. You see, because God is good, he will punish sin. That thing that you or I have done that's wrong, that nobody else knew about, God knows about it. God's real. He's not just an idea. He's not just a figment of our imagination. And this God is so thoroughly committed to what is good and right that every sin will be punished. And this is where Jesus comes in. Jesus determined to be our Redeemer. It was the will of His Heavenly Father that He give Himself as a sacrifice in substitution. That's a word that's often used. As a substitute in the place of, instead of you and me if we would repent of our sins, turn from them, and trust in Him. So why did the Redeemer need to die? <laughs> because that's the only way you and me would live.